hello friends welcome back and if you're new to our channel thank you for stopping by today i have an interesting crochet pattern to share with you and this particular crochet uh, design will be perfect for baby blankets cushion covers so let us start off with a magic ring for this particular pattern, we, we will be using, sorry, two different colored yarns. So after the magic ring is done, I am going to chain three, which should be counted as one double crochet. And into the magic ring, I am going to make two number of double crochet. So two double crochet plus the first chain of three makes three double crochet. After that, I chain two. And into the magic ring I am going to work three number of double crochet this is the second batch the second batch is done again I chain two and will be working my third batch of three double crochet that's the first one this is the second and the third so let's chain two again and work a final batch of three double crochet now this is a beautiful crochet pattern perfect for cushion covers baby blankets throws it's going to look just wonderful so my three double crochets are done let's pull the tail of the magic ring and now I'm going to chain two and then we are going to slip stitch that's the tail that is to be pulled uh, to make the circle uh, smaller now I am going to slip stitch into the topmost chain of the very first chain of three. So here it is. We pull the tail of the magic ring till we get a nice finish at the center. Now let us start off with a chain of two because we don't want a long stitch out there. Please watch carefully now after the chain of two is done next to it we have two chain spaces and there I am going to work a double crochet that is half done that's the first one and this is the second one so two half done double crochet plus the first chain of two makes three double crochet it's an incomplete one now I am going to attach my new yarn that's the pink one so a slip knot is done and please watch carefully and now in order to introduce a new yarn this is the process that is to be followed for crocheting we are going to pull the yarn new yarn through the stitches and so the pink yarn becomes a working yarn now into the chain two space we are going to work a corner that is actually the corner space and at the back of the work we are going to clip up the yarns so that uh, the yarns don't dangle here and there and besides we are going to carry our first yarn here it is the white one along because we will be needing that again so into the corner I am working three double crochet that's already done let us chain two and work three double crochet again into the same space that's the first one the second now the third one has to be stopped midway that is because we are going to change color let's do the double crochet yarn over pull through now we are not going to pull through all the stitches why because we are going to change our yarn color to white now I'm going to pull my white yarn through it so the white yarn becomes our working yarn this is the process that is to be followed the white yarn has become a working yarn now we are going to pull our work because we need to locate three chain spaces out there that's the first one incomplete double crochet done that's the second incomplete double crochet and that's the third incomplete double crochet we have four stitches on the hook actually we want a tapering pattern out there that's why yarn over pull through all stitches now the pink yarn becomes a working yarn and into the 
chain two space we are going to work our corner again that is very simple three double crochet let's carry our white yarn along otherwise it will be left behind so three double crochet done let us chain two and work another set of three double crochet into the chain two space and that's our second corner the first double crochet is done let's do the second one and the third one we are going to do halfway two stitches on the hook let's pull up a white yarn and pull the white yarn through the two stitches and hence we get our working yarn as the white yarn let's pull the pink yarn slightly so that the stitches fall in place now that's the half done double crochet because there too we need a tapering pattern this is the second half done double crochet followed by the third half done double crochet please carry your yarn along the secondary yarn now so four stitches on the hook so it's time to change the color pulling the pink yarn through it and so the pink yarn becomes a working yarn and into the corner space that's the third corner we are going to work our uh, uh, three double crochet chain two three double crochet thus making a third corner please carry your secondary yarn along so my third corner is about to end the first double crochet is done this is the second double crochet and this is the third one which is an incomplete one two uh, stitches on the hook now i'm going to pull my white yarn through it so the white yarn becomes a working yarn and now there are three stitches and there we are going to work three number of half done double crochet that's the first one this is the second followed by the third that is because we need a tapering pattern out there four stitches on the hook now with the pink yarn i am going to pull through all so the pink yarn becomes a working yarn and let's work our corner again which is very simple three double crochet chain two and three double crochet the third stitch we have to be careful as we need to change the color and this is one of the beautiful pattern that is because two different colors we are using and the pattern will come out beautiful and we can keep working uh, if we are making a cushion cover till our desired length uh, sorry size is reached so the second double crochet is done let's do the third double crochet which is supposed to be an incomplete one now we are going to change the color let's pull a white yarn through it and the white yarn becomes a working yarn this is how it is done and now as the white yarn has become a working yarn I am going to slip stitch into the chain space white chain space now what we are going to do at this point is we are going to chain three after that into the same point we are going to work two number of double crochet so two double crochet plus the first chain of three becomes three double crochet and the third double crochet is an incomplete one because we are going to uh, introduce a pink yarn and so the pink yarn becomes a working yarn now we already have three chains out there so we are going to work in complete double crochet that's the first one this is the second one and the third one four stitches on the hook now since we have to change to the white yarn so I am going to complete the work with the white yarn and so here it is done and now the white yarn becomes a working yarn now let's work the corner by working three number of double crochet 
chain 2 and 3 double crochet that's the first one the second and the third and while working the third we are going to stop there when we have two stitches on the hook because we need to change our yarn color to pink after this we are going to pull our work always because there's always a hidden chain out there and now with the pink yarn I am going to work incomplete double crochet because there we need uh, to work a tapering pattern so that's the first one this is the second incomplete one and this is the third incomplete one and now I'm going to change the color so with the white yarn I'm going to complete the work so the white yarn becomes our working yarn and see here we have a chain where we need to work three number of double crochet at the same point as in the lower round we had worked the tapering stitch now the stitches are spreading from one point and in the third double crochet I changed my color to pink and so the pink yarn has become my working yarn now let us work three number of half done double crochet that's the first one followed by the second and the third now if you count we have four stitches on the hook now I'm going to change my yarn color and so the white yarn becomes a working yarn I've reached the corner also now let us work three double crochet chain two three double crochet now if you watch if you see the pattern you will see uh, the colors are alternating every time that is once it is pink once it is white once it is pink once it is white so that has to be kept in mind so working my corner that's the third double crochet which is an incomplete one because we need to change the yarn color let's pull our work there are three chains out there and now we are going to work three number of half done double crochet that's the first one this is the second and the third so four stitches on the hook now I'm going to complete the work with the white yarn and I'm going to pull through all the stitches now there is one chain out there where I will be working three number of double crochet at the same point as the first one this is the second and the third which is incomplete because we need to change the color to pink so the pink yarn has become a working yarn let's pull the work to locate the uh, chains now let's work three number of half done double crochet because there the pattern is going to taper that's the third one we have four stitches on the hook now let us change the color to white so the white yarn has become a working yarn and we have reached the corner where we need to work three double crochet chain two see that's the corner that's the third corner chain two and three double crochet this is the first double crochet followed by the second double crochet and the third one has to be an incomplete one because there we are going to change our yarn color to pink so the pink yarn becomes our working yarn at this point we are always going to pull our work to locate the three chains but this is the point where we will have the tendency to make mistake that's the first half done double crochet because here the pattern is going to taper as the second followed by the third half done double crochet we have four stitches on the hook now let us change the yarn color so the uh, white yarn sorry has become a working yarn we have one chain 
white chain space there and into it we are going to work three double crochet as the second and the third and here we are going to change the yarn color two stitches on the hook now let us complete it with the pink yarn so right now this is how it looks now with the pink yarn we are going to work three number of half done double crochet as the second followed by the third now we are going to complete our work with the pink oh sorry white yarn and into the corner we are going to work three double crochet chain two now again three double crochet as the first one followed by the second and the third is to be an incomplete one because we are going to change our yarn color to pink so with the pink yarn we are going to complete this particular stitch and now let's pull our work to locate the chains again and there are three chain spaces where we are going to work three number of incomplete double crochet with the pink yarn that's the first one this is the second followed by the third we have four stitches on the hook now with the white yarn let us complete the work so the white yarn becomes a working yarn now see we have three stitches three white stitches out there so into the first stitch we are going to slip stitch carefully so that is done and the white yarn has become a working yarn see how beautiful the pattern is already looking now we have three stitches there now we need to work a tapering stitch for that i just worked a chain of two here we are going to work chain of two not chain of three and then the second double crochet which is incomplete this is the third one when we start the round if it is a tapering stitch we will always have three stitches now let's change the yarn color to pink now there is one chain space out there there we are going to work three number of double crochet as the first one this is the second and this is the third which is an incomplete one because we need to change the yarn color to white so let's complete the work with the white yarn and hence the white yarn becomes our working yarn so three stitches sorry three white chains are there and there we are going to work three number of incomplete double crochet because there we need to work a tapering pattern so we have four stitches on the hook let us complete the uh, pattern with our uh, sorry pink yarn and the pink yarn has become a working yarn and into the corner let us work three double crochet three double crochet done let us chain two and work three double crochet but the third one has to be an incomplete one this is the third one we are going to stop right there and change our yarn color to white so that's done now we have three white chains over there and there we are going to work with the white yarn and it has to be incomplete double crushes three incomplete double crushes that's the second and the third please remember to carry your secondary yarn so four stitches on the hook now let us change our yarn color to pink and i completed the work with my pink yarn and the pink yarn has become a working yarn and we have one chain space there pink chain space where we are going to work three number of double crochet the third has to be an incomplete one because we are going to change our yarn color to white 
so here it is now three stitches there three chains out there sorry and there I am going to work a tapering stitch so it has to be three number of incomplete double crochet so four stitches on the hook that's the uh, when we have four stitches on the hook you'll understand we are working the pattern correctly there is one pink chain space there where we are going to work three number of double crochet as we uh, did earlier that's the second and the third double crochet here we are going to stop because we need to change our yarn color to white so completing the work with the white yarn this is how it looks now let's pull our work to locate the hidden chains please carry your yarn along that's the first half done double crochet because the pattern is going to taper out there that's the second and the third see we have four stitches on the hook that means we are working correctly and now with the pink yarn we are going to complete this particular motif we have got the tapering pattern now into the corner we are going to work with the pink yarn because every time we are working with alternate colors so let's work three double crochet let us chain two and work again three number of double crochet that's the second double crochet the third one has to be an incomplete one because we are going to change our yarn color to white so completing with the white yarn and hence the white yarn has become a working yarn let's pull the work three stitches right there so we need to work a tapering pattern out there and we will be working three number of half done double crochet as the second followed by the third so four stitches on the hook now we are completing with the pink yarn now here we will be working with the pink yarn and at the same point we will be working three number of double crochet the last one has to be an incomplete one because we are going to change the yarn color to white so it is done now let's continue again here the stitch or the pattern is going to taper so we are working three number of half done double crochet that means we will be having four stitches on the hook let's complete the pattern by finishing it off with the pink yarn so the pink yarn has become a working yarn and we have one chain space where it is pink in color so at that point we work three double crochet the third one is an incomplete one finishing it off with the pink yarn sorry with the white yarn and the white yarn has become a working yarn now let us work three number of half done double crochet as the second followed by the third so four stitches on the hook now we are going to complete the work with the pink yarn so the pink yarn has become a working yarn now let us work the corner by working three number of double crochet that's the first this is the second one followed by the third double crochet now let us chain two and work three double crochet to complete the corner this is the first one the second double crochet and the third has to be an incomplete one now with the white yarn I'm going to complete it and the white yarn has become a working yarn and at this point we have three white chain spaces so there the pattern is going to taper so we will be working three number of half done double crochet with the white yarn that's the first one 
followed by the second and the third so we have four stitches on the hook with the pink yarn we are going to complete the work here we have one chain space and there we are going to work three number of double crochet as the second this is the third which is an incomplete one because we need to change the color so the white yarn has become a working yarn and here we have one white chain space because that's the tapering point so into that uh, chain space we are going to slip stitch so this particular round is also complete see how cute the pattern looks and you can work it as much as you like now here I worked a chain of three after that working two number of double crochet into the same space the third is an incomplete one because we need to change the color and after that the pink yarn has become a working yarn and since there it is going to be a tapering pattern so i am working three number of half done double crochet now see four stitches on the hook completing it with the white yarn so the white yarn has become a working yarn and we have just one white chain space so there we are going to work three number of double crochet the third is to be an incomplete one because we are going to change our yarn color to pink the pink yarn has become a working yarn let's pull our work to locate the three chain spaces pink chain spaces and here I'm going to work three number of half done double crochet because the pattern is going to taper right here so four stitches on the hook that means we are working correctly now completing the pattern with the white yarn so the white yarn has become our working yarn now into the corner we are going to work three number of double crochet chain two and again three double crochet that's the first one followed by the second this is the third one which is to be an incomplete one and we are going to finish it off with the pink yarn so the pink yarn becomes our working yarn just work to the corner let's pull our work to locate the three chain spaces and with the pink yarn I am going to work three number of half done double crushes because at this point the pattern is going to taper that's the second half done double crochet this is the third one so four stitches on the hook now with the white yarn we are going to complete the work after that we have one white chain space there we are going to work three number of double crochet that's the second followed by the third the third has to be an incomplete one that is because we will be changing the color right here to pink let's complete the work with the pink yarn and the pink yarn has become a working yarn three stitches or three chain spaces there and here we are going to work three number of half done double crochet So four stitches on the hook with the white yarn we are going to complete the pattern now we have one chain space in white and there we are going to work three number of double crochet as the first one this is the second one and this is the third half done double crochet and with the pink yarn we are going to complete the work and now we have three pink spaces or chain spaces where we are going to work three number of half done double crochet because there the pattern is going to taper so four stitches on the hook now we are going to complete it with the white yarn so the white yarn becomes our working yarn now at this point 
we have one white chain space so there we are going to work three number of double crochet at the same point second this is the third double crochet which is an incomplete one because we are going to change our yarn color to pink our working yarn has become the pink one and now into the three chain spaces we are going to work three number of half done double crochet let's count the stitches four stitches on the hook now let us complete it with the white yarn so the white yarn becomes a working yarn and into the corner we are going to work three number of double crochet chain two and three number of double crochet that's the first one followed by the second and the third which is an incomplete one because we need to change the yarn color to pink let's pull our work and there we have three pink chain spaces where we are going to work three number of half double half done double crochet because there the pattern is going to taper we have four stitches on the hook now let's complete this particular pattern with the white yarn so the white yarn has become a working yarn and I have worked uh, most of it because we will be continuing in the same manner and now I have just worked my final corner the third double crochet is an incomplete one as usual and changing my yarn color to pink let's pull our work to locate the three pink chains where we are going to work three number of half done double crochet that's the first one followed by the second half done double crochet and the third so four stitches on the hook now let us change our yarn color to white so the white yarn becomes our working yarn we have one chain space where we are going to work three number of double crochet one Two. that's the third one which is an incomplete one because we have to change the yarn color to pink and now we have three pink chain spaces there and we are going to work our half done double crushes there as the first one this is the second followed by the third So four stitches on the hook now I'm going to complete it with the white yarn so the white yarn has become a working yarn now if you count the chains white chains right there we have three chain spaces one two three and into the very first chain space that's the topmost chain there we are going to slip stitch so this is how our beautiful pattern looks after that we are going to chain one and snip off the yarn and this is a beautiful pattern perfect for cushion covers baby blankets throws and see how pretty it looks thank you friends for staying till the end if you all have found the video useful to give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing and stay tuned for interesting videos so till we meet again it is bye bye for today bye